This video will show you how to disassemble the handle of your cart in order to access the electronic components inside and then either check, test, or replace them as required. First we'll talk about our X3 series, both remote and non-remote, same handle. There are two different designs, one prior to 2014 and a second from 2014 to present. First we'll start with the design prior to 2014 on the X3 series. As you see, in order to open up the cart, you must flip it over and there are six screws across the top right, that open and there's two deep screws that go and attach it to the frame itself. First step, take out all these screws. Once you've opened up the handle, it'll expose the components right, in the cart. The circuit board, the rheostat or speed dial, and the cable of wires that comes up through the cart. Need to replace the rheostat, here's the steps. The outer knob just pulls off, exposing the stem of the rheostat itself. Then there is a small jam nut or wafer nut that has to be loosened that secures the rheostat to the side of the frame. There's also a washer here. Right? And then you push the rheostat inside the frame. Disconnect the wires of the rheostat that are connected to the circuit board and remove the defective rheostat. To replace it, you just reverse the steps. So you want to attach the connector with the wires to the circuit board. You then want to put the stem of the rheostat through the handle frame and then reattach it with this little wafer nut and the washer. Tighten that up securely. If you need to use a little pliers or wrench, you can do so. And then finally attach the knob, it just pushes straight on. And you've now replaced your rheostat.